Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap on a new episode of Noragami Aragoto, which is on episode 3. This episode right here just shows a little bit more of a little antagonist, a little like setup of the antagonist or minor antagonist. I don't know which one he is, which is Kugaha. So if anything else, let's continue. Okay, at the beginning, we have to it that um, Iki Hiyori is talking to her friends and her friends are teasing her and then. Yato is just like, um, oh, how y'all doing? You know, that kind of thing, and so forth. But Yato was pretty concerned about a couple things here and there. He ticks off Hiyori very much and then gets kicked in the trash can and hit, gets hit by a garbage truck, which I question, like, how is it that the garbage truck did not run him over and instead it just hits him so hard that he ends up flying, you know? <laughs> that kind of thing. Then as the episode... Well, before the beginning with Yato and Hiyori, there was one thing about one of the regulars having to cause a problem for Bishomon. And she seems to be infected with that right eye or something. That that eye, that infected eye whatsoever, makes me want to puke. Oh my gosh. Speaking of which, um, we have to it that events were starting to look a little like um, out of place or out of control for the time being, you know. But apparently, like, one time... The, there was this one scene where Kugaha is just like working with Nora still, still antagonizing many other people, and he is the very reason why Suzaha is dead, you know? And apparently, we have to it that Yato did tell Yukine, sorry for being disorganized if I'm going out of, if I'm going here and there. He tells Yukine not to go over that place. Yato tells him that, but apparently, um, Yukine ignored his warning, follows, um, Follows Kazuma to Bishamon's place, and apparently, like, um, Yukine ends up being where Bishamon is right now, and she and, she, and he ends up yelling at her, Why didn't you help him out? Why didn't you protect him? You say everyone's like a family, screw you, you know, that kind of thing. He ends up saying that this is a this is a living hell, you've forgotten, you've forgotten one of the regulars to, that you're supposed to protect. Instead of like um, helping him out, you've forgotten about him because you're not so focused on him, and instead you're so focused on some other things, etc. That's what I think he was saying. And apparently, um, Bishamon was pretty upset about the decep about what Kazuma has been doing behind her back, such as saving Yato from season one. If you guys watched season one, which you should have, if you didn't, then all you guys are just confused as hell right now in the head. And Kazuma has no other place to go, so he hangs out with Yukine and Yato's place for now. But apparently, due to um, Kugaha, Kugaha's actions, if you guys remember that crazy doctor f sh shock shocker whatsoever, he is starting to cause some major ruckus right now, especially for Yato. Apparently, it all builds up to a point where he already gets kidnapped in Bishamon's place, and I'm thinking in my mind, ain't that a r straight up right, right in the move, you know? That kind of thing. So I'm real sorry if this recap is very sh is disorganized and short or something, got nothing much I can really talk about, but I guess like a lot of crazy events is starting to build up from here on now. Don't know what's going to happen to Hiyori, but hopefully she'll be okay. So until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm Alpha Zeto, have a good day, and I'll see you guys in my next video, right? Peace out, bye bye.